What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going over my rod and reel setups for 2021, kind of going into the summer months. I'm going to be going over each one of these, letting you know how I set them up, what I use them for. This is also going to be kind of a slash Waterloo Rods review for any of you guys who are looking at picking up a Waterloo Rod. This video is also going to be for you because I'm going to let you know kind of what each one is best used for. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to give my favorite. So stick around for that. And if you're new here, guys, my name is Kay. This is Tides Fishing. We do all kind of saltwater fishing videos. Also, a dab of hunting videos. Maybe have some more of those coming in the future. But if you're into that, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you find this video helpful, drop a like. And let's go ahead and get into the first combo that I'm going to be using the most this summer. My number one combo, without a doubt, is the Lose. I think this is the Mach 2 Speed Spool on the Waterloo Bait Runner. I have a separate video here on the channel covering this reel. It's under $100. Probably one of the best bait casters I've ever owned. Under 100 bucks, hasn't failed me yet, so go check out that video if you're really interested in this reel. But this is on the seven foot Waterloo Bait Runner. This is my go-to rod and reel setup just because I can really do everything with it. I can throw a heavy popping cork with it. I can throw live bait on a croaker. I can throw a top water with this. The bait runner is going to be stiffer than any of these other rods that I'm gonna show you here kind of today. And so this is really my go-to. It's heavy, can handle a big fish. I've landed bull res with this rod. And so it's really one of my, my kind of my workhorse of all of my combos. And I really enjoy it for throwing, like I say, a popping cork or if I'm throwing a corky, anything that has a little bit of weight on it, live bait, I'm definitely picking up my Waterloo bait runner with my loose speed spool on it. So let's say I'm not gonna throw some heavy, I wanna throw some artificial. Okay, what are you going with? Well, that is going to be this setup right here. This is the Waterloo HP Lite. This is actually 6.7 version of the Waterloo HP Lite, and I have this on a limited edition Concept TX. This is one of my favorite setups just because it looks amazing, and also if you're throwing anything artificial, this HP Lite will catch it. If you're looking for a Waterloo rod and you throw a lot of artificial, I definitely recommend the HP light. You, this thing is so sensitive, the tip on it is great. You can just tell like what kind of bottom it is, the muddy bottom, the hard bottom, you're getting grass, everything. You can just tell just by feeling it with this rod and reel. Now, for bigger fish, I would be a little careful. This thing has a lot of bend in it, so you probably could break this off if you're not being super careful with it. But overall, this is my kind of uh, artificial setup if I'm throwing anything small, like a little spoon, down south lure, I'm slapping it on the Concept TX and the Waterloo HP light. Third is going to be a spinning setup. Now this here is the Waterloo Phantom. This is the seven foot version of the Waterloo Phantom and I have this on my favorite spinning reel of all time. And that is going to be the Pin Battle. They have these, these are, this is the old version of the Pin Battle. They have a new version, the Pin Battle 2. That is also, I haven't picked it up yet, but I really want to. The guys, this is a great reel. I've had this spinning reel for I don't know, probably three, four years wade fishing in a kayak, salty water, put a little water on it, wash it off after each trip, this thing is ready to go. It is a little bit on the heavier side, but man, this thing can handle the elements. It's definitely worth your money. If the next reel I pick up is definitely going to be the Pin Battle 2, but right now this one's working just fine. I actually have another one of these on a different setup. That's uh, my sister's setup that she uses all the time, but this, this reel is a heavy duty reel. It's gonna get you, it's gonna work. It's, I highly recommend it. If not, go pick up the Pin Battle 2. Get into the rod a little bit. This is the Waterloo Phantom. So this rod is good for certain things. One of the main things about this rod is that it does have a softer tip. It's kind of in between the HP Lite and the Bait Runner, but it has a good backbone. So what I normally throw this rod for, if you can't tell, is a popping cork that <laughs> would already have on here. Or sometimes I will throw um, artificial with this because the tip is soft enough. This is my personal spinning setup. I really like spinning setups when you're throwing into the wind or you're really trying to chunk a bait. I'll also throw, um, if I'm fishing a live croaker, I'll throw that on a spinning setup also sometimes. But this is a really kind of go-to thing. I, I can really do anything with this. That's why I like it a lot. And if I'm not trying to, my bait catcher giving me a hard time or there's a lot of wind one day, I'm picking this thing up. Now, this is actually not my setup, this is actually my girlfriend's setup, but I set it up for her, so I call it, you know, classifies as my setup also. But this is actually probably, I probably enjoy this setup more than I enjoy this other spinning setup. Now with this here, this is the Shimano Sienna. Yeah, this is like a $20 reel, guys. And we have two of these, also have one of these on my dad's, and these things are a beast. We've had each one of these for, I think, over a year, and they still work perfectly fine for $20. They're one of, maybe it's $30. They're one of the best reels you can get. Shimano Sienna, I'll let you guys get a look at it. 
just in case you want to pick one up. But I have it with the uh, fins braid on there, the pink braid for her, and she really enjoys that. The rod for this setup is the Waterloo Salinity 7 foot. And guys, this is an amazing rod. You can really do anything with this rod. And the great thing about it is the price point's not gonna break the bank. Some of these Bait Runner, HP Lite, those get up in the 200, 250 plus range. Phantom is a little bit cheaper than the Salinity, but the Salinity is kind of right there in the middle. I think you pick one of these up for like 120 or 130. I don't know, I'll throw the screenshot up here on this uh, from the site. But you can throw anything with this. We throw pop and corks with this. We throw artificial with this. I throw top waters with this. You really, it's kind of hard to beat it. And they come in these different colors. And so if you want to get a customized setup, definitely hit up Waterloo. They can do all different kinds of things uh, with the rods. But so this is a solid rod and reel setup that I use kind of for anything. Also, it's another spinning setup. If it's windy, I'm grabbing this. If I'm kind of just want to sling something out there, I'm grabbing this. And it got the backbone. It can handle some good sized fish. And with that said, you probably kind of all sitting around here wondering, okay, Cade, which one is your favorite kind of rod and reel setup? Well, if you have to ask me, overall, I'm probably going to go with my Luz on the Bait Runner. It's just the one I use the most. I can really do everything with it. And it can really handle kind of all different types of fishing. I can even throw plastics with it if I really want to. It's, it's really kind of a workhorse of my rod and reel arsenal. But if you had to make me choose a second favorite one that I highly recommend, especially people just kind of just getting into fishing, if you're looking for a spinning setup or even a bait catcher setup, is I would recommend picking up the Salinity Rod. This is my favorite rod, guys. You cannot beat this rod. Um, they also make it in the bait caster version. They make it all different kind of colors also. For the money, you can throw anything with this rod. It will handle almost any fish, saltwater fish in the bays. It's really a go-to, and like I said, it's the workhorse of the rods for water the rods, but I think it's kind of their, not their flagship rod, but I definitely think it's one of their most popular rods. So check that out if you're look, new and looking for a Waterloo rod. Um, also not gonna break the bank. But with that said, guys, that is the rod and my rod and reel kind of setup. These are gonna be the main ones you will see me using in the videos here in the future. And so if you enjoy that, you have any questions about these. Um, oh, quick thing, the braid on all these. These are all 30 pound. Um, fins braided. This is all off the pink braid just because I bought a whole school of it for my girlfriend And so I went ahead and braided all of mine with it as well But that's 30 pound braid that I have set up on all these But if you have any questions about them drop it in the comments below I'll be happy to answer them. maybe let me know what's your favorite setup What's your go-to that you're gonna be using all summer to catch some fish? Let me know But with that said guys, that's the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace